Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to insert a table in Word. In order to do that, I have opened my, obviously, my Word application. I have a blank Word page. And in here, from the upper menu, we are coming to Insert section in order to insert the table, obviously. And from the Table section, as you can see here, we have the um, ability to add a table. Clicking this. And from here, you can do in both ways. You can either choose the cells that you want to insert the column, the rows, etc. Or either way, you can insert the table by this, inputting the number of columns or the number of rows that you want. For now, I'm not going to do like this. I'm going to do it in a simple way. For example, I want a table with uh, three columns, choosing three. And I want the, my table for initiation um, statement to be with two rows, choosing this. Voila, simply. Now, I will open a little bit the header section and from my home section, we're coming to paragraph and for this, we're going to select the light core and to be precise, I'm going to select the entire row and I will do the a little bit darkish gray. Okay, choosing once again the upper row like this, I'm going to put the text align in the middle and I want my text for the top row to be white and also I want to align the text into the middle of this row and we are selecting the top row once again and clicking right and from here we're coming to table properties and from here we're coming to cell and as you can see the vertical alignment is at the top I want to be in the center clicking this and clicking OK. As you can see now, the text is uh, at the center of the cell. And here I'm going to put name. And for here I'm going to put surname. This is only example. I want to show you how this simple is to add a table and uh, edit it inside the cells. And for here I'm going to put the email. Choosing this. OK, I'm going to put a little bit also the text size a little bit bigger. I'm going to do it font size. I'm going to do a little bit bolder. And for now, I'm going to put the example, I'm going to put a name, I'm put John, and for surname, I'm going to put the Ashley, and for email, I'm going to put jashley at gmail.com. Okay, how to add a row at the bottom of this table? Simply pressing the key tab, and as you can see, we have a new row. How to add another more? We're coming to the last row of this uh, table and putting tab. Or if you don't want to come to the last column and uh, press the tab key, you can always press the tab and add as many as you want. Simply as that. And if you want also to uh, maximize the text, choosing all the rows, and I will put it a little bit bigger and align the text in the middle like this. And now you have nice looking table. What if you want to rotate the page? How to do that? I'm going to show you also this. We're coming to layout. And from here, as you can see, we have page setups. From the orientation, you are choosing this. And at, at the drop down menu, you are choosing landscape. You see, we have now the table at the middle of this um, page, but it's not looking nice. Let's also make this looking good. And from here, as you can see at the top left section we have the error section we're coming above that and now we can drag and drop the table at the position that we want the page i'm going to put it to the middle if i don't want it i'm going to put it to the top left section or at the top right section i'm going to put to the left section and i'm going to show you something let's put it here let's print it and as you can see the print is applied as the table's position that we have done so this video was like this i hope you like this video if you like it please give a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe in order to see more future content thank you once again that you watch me and i will see you very soon in my next video until then have a nice day bye bye i love you all don't forget to subscribe and like this video